second training video for youth in government. Today we're going to be talking about researching your legislation. My name is Tyler Doerr and I'm a program director at the YMCA Center for Civic Engagement. My name is Elise Duggar and I'm the associate director for the YMCA Center for Civic Engagement. My name is Erica Friedman. I go to the University School of Nashville and I'll be serving as the Red Senate floor leader and I've been doing YIG for four years. We're going to start with just some broad strokes about what kind of issues uh, get dealt with at youth and government and then move into some more specifics um, about how you can do research and how to organize it effectively. We'll start with obviously youth and government is a simulation of state government, meaning uh, that you can deal with anything at youth and government that the actual state legislature could deal with. So according to the 10th Amendment, any power not granted to the federal Congress is reserved to state and local governments. So there's a really wide array of policy topics that you can tackle. In practice, the federal and state governments cooperate on some policy areas and they each have sole jurisdiction over some things. For instance, Medicare is a national health insurance program, but each state runs its own unique Medicaid system. Um, doing the research on which part um, of government, be it federal or state or local, deals with different kinds of issues and the specific mechanisms that they have to address each um, of those policy areas is a really important part of your research. Uh, learning these different jurisdictions, learning how all the different levels of government work together and cooperate is one of the things that youth and government is all about. Any legislation you write is going to be dealing with things primarily from the state level. But do some research on your topic of interest, because even if it's traditionally a federal or local government issue, there may be creative ways to get the state government involved. Uh, for instance, by offering tax incentives to entice local school boards to do things, or starting a pilot program that can be a model for other states in the nation. So a lot of times with some creative thinking, you can turn uh, even a federal or a local issue into a state issue. So there are a number of different sources to find Tennessee specific challenges, but local news is a great place to start. In addition to state papers like the Tennessean, check for articles in local city newspapers as well. Oftentimes these papers have reporters that cover specific policy areas like education, housing, or transportation. Clicking through these reporters articles can be a great source of inspiration. Check current legislation before the state using the legislators website and they have an indexed list of current bills being proposed. Once you have an idea, you should check current state law. You can search the entire Tennessee code annotated on Lexis, and using Google Scholar or JSTOR, you can um, find art academic articles on your topic. Other states may have already enacted some good ideas too. Uh, the National Bureau of Economic Research has all kinds of working papers on cutting edge policy solutions from economics research researchers. This can be a great place to start to find statistics and other innovative policy ideas. Your solutions can be multifaceted, but take care not to exceed your title. Don't forget to check the budget. The budget for the fiscal year of 2020 to 2021 has already been posted on the Tennessee government, uh, government website and knowing a little bit about how the budget operates will help you write your fiscal line item. And don't forget to check the band bill topics list. Finally, before you begin drafting your legislation, you're going to want to assess its constitutionality. Um, the Tennessee Constitution is different and more specific than the federal Constitution that you're probably familiar with. So you should check your bill against the Tennessee Constitution. If your bill violates it, it's not necessarily game over, but you may need to change your bill or transform your goal into amending the Tennessee Constitution. YIG follows the same format for amending the Constitution that is outlined in the state constitution. So that means you can get the process started at YIG. Um, you may just have to be careful about how you phrase the text of your legislation. So I would say that if you have a bill topic, just Googling that topic and looking at the search results is really helpful. And from there, you can kind of figure out some subcategories that you're going to want to dig deeper into. 
and you might also find some useful statistics that would back up whatever you're trying to propose. Yeah, and if you are struggling to come up with a topic idea, I definitely recommend talking to your teachers and advisors, as well as students who've been before. They can give you kind of an idea about what sorts of uh, policy issues get debated at the conference, um, and it can be a good jumping off point and inspire some other stuff. I'd also encourage you to think about your own life. Uh, what are some issues that you and other high school or college age Tennesseans face? Um, these kinds of issues are going to be of immense interest to everybody else at the conference, so they, they're also a really good starting point. If you're looking for other kinds of perspectives, talk to some of your older relatives and family members. A lot of times they have ideas um, based on their experiences and interactions with state government over the years. And lastly, if you don't feel like getting uh, into something politically controversial, don't be afraid to get technical. The Tennessee state government is a um, massive organization tasked with lots of different uh, um, you know, jobs and with lots of different tools at its disposal. So streamlining processes and making things more efficient is also a really good thing to tackle in a youth and government bill. One of the first research tips I would give you is that you should take a little time to pay attention to the band bill topics list, but also to look back at um, previous YIG books from your conference. Um, successful YIG bills are ones that um, people aren't tired of debating. So if there were 10 bills on a topic at YIG last year, um, your sophomore juniors and seniors probably already spent a lot of time talking about that topic and would rather move on to something else. So um, if you go back and look at old bills, you can get inspiration for new ideas, but you also know um, what ideas you should not repeat that people are kind of tired of talking about. I would also add for thinking about research in general that if you can come up with a list of questions that other people could ask about your bill and then trying to find answers to those, that could be a good starting point. And any statistics that could show the efficacy of your plan, whether it was enacted in another state or there was another country that did something similar um, would be helpful. Those are both really good tips. Along the same lines, um, explaining your bill idea or topic to someone who is not familiar with the work that you're doing is also a really great way to find out the kinds of questions that lay people are gonna have about your topic. Um, so explain it to a relative or a sibling and take note of the questions that they ask and you can sort of work those answers into your explanation at the conference. I would also recommend um, before anybody starts writing their bill, kind of re-examining your own assumptions about things before um, you start writing. Because a lot of times you might go into a bill having picked a topic and feeling strongly about something, but taking the time to do a little bit more research before you begin drafting your bill might give you A, a better idea on how to run things, or B, just change your perspective a little bit um, kind of as you do more research. So definitely make sure to leave yourself plenty of time before you have to write the bill. Um, to do research, because sometimes you can write a bill, turn it in right before the deadline, and then as you start doing research afterwards to prepare for a presentation, realize that you wish you'd done something different. I think for me, one of the best things to do is to organize all of your facts into answers to technical questions, pro questions, or con questions. That way, during each round, you can kind of flip to that page and you have things more readily accessible. Obviously, it's definitely good to know all of your information ahead of time and where those kind of facts are gonna be because you might get a pro question um, that you have a really good answer to, but it's in the con section of your document. So just knowing um, your research and kind of organizing it that way is helpful. Um, I would also suggest taking a minute to um, familiarize yourself with our, our virtual format. We're going to have some like advice videos on what the YIG virtual format looks like and thinking about how um, what's going to be easy for you during debate. If you're presenting on your computer, is it going to be easier for you to have things printed out next to you or to have documents open um, in Google Docs? So think about like what works best for your brain in a virtual setting.
kind of going back to what you said earlier, looking through past um, YIG books has been helpful as well as just Googling YIG bill ideas. And I guess also you could just think of problems in your daily life and how you would want to address those. And, um, or if you've heard about something in your community that you think you have a cool solution to, that could be good as well. Um, so you may not know this about me, but I did youth and government in high school. And the way that I got my ideas for my YIG bills was watching Lifetime movies. And um, those sparked a topic and I won outstanding bill. So, uh, you know, watching TV can actually be a way for you to get inspiration for your YIG bills. If you are um, a bit at a loss for a bill idea, you could also try going on procon.org. And just in general, I think that the arguments there are really, um, can be really well thought out and help you think more critically about any issue.